as Lord Mayor. Every dollar he's promised has been accounted for. But as the long campaign enters its last two days, Labor is still costing its commitments. When you're the Lord Mayor, you get to play with all the big boys' toys. Campbell Newman helping chip away at part of the north-south bypass tunnel under the guidance of nervous project managers. Then it was back to the equally dirty election campaign and what his promises will cost us. Total commitments of around $787 million, of which uh, $336 million are new commitments. A lot of money and still no firm promise it won't be paid for with big household rate increases. I can only say that I'm going to be very, very cautious in these tough economic times where families are bearing that brunt. Labor's independent audit of their promises is yet to appear. I understand that this is an important one and they will be available before the election. When? Tomorrow? They will be available before the election so that Brisbane residents can decide. Campbell Newman having too much fun to care. While this is an impressive hole, equally large is the one Campbell Newman's senior council colleague, Jane Prentice, has dug for herself and her Lord Mayor. A day out from the election. Trying to help a Liberal can-do colleague, she put out a flyer saying she was writing at the request of Labor Minister Neil Roberts and went on to attack the local Labor candidate. Ravi says the Minister... Mr Speaker, Council Apprentice has given a conditional apology and which in my view does not address the specific concerns I have raised. Mr Roberts is supporting his uh, Labor Party mate. Mr Roberts says he's pursuing further legal advice. Tim Collins, 10 News. Back on sport now, Peter, will he play or won't he play?